Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl and now. And it's your boy, Stanley. Okay, first of all, let me apologize. Let us apologize yes. for last week. Um, I had a family emergency, so I had to actually run out of town. And by the time we got back into town, it was the holiday and then we mm -hmm. had a whole lot going on. So, playing catch up. Mm, not gonna nah. happen but i will touch on a few things because last week's episode actually was really good to me yeah last week and really i good. wanted to do that guy doing review yeah. last week just didn't work out but, for four players you know when you got real life situation yeah you gotta do what you gotta do hey y'all know y'all understand <laughs> forgive me charge it to my head not my heart charge e. it to the situation not the player but anywho <laughs> if you are new to our channel welcome Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You may regret it one day, but right now it ain't going to be the day. And go, it's free. It's free this week. Next week it will go up. Um, go ahead and hit the bell. That'll let you know when we come through with a new exclusive. And go ahead and rate the video. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Doesn't matter. You're already here. E. You can't get out the sunken place if you wanted to. <laughs> ding a ling a ling So, okay, let me touch on a few things from last week. Okay. <laughs> When somebody go get Demonica committed, now she yeah, running she around, around committing over yeah, yeah, committing everybody else, but ain't nobody committing her. Really? Now uh -huh. I know she got a lot of pool in this town. I do know that, but at this point, she is standing there in front of R.K. who doesn't really know her. Now he would be the perfect person to call somebody on her and be like, "I got this lady over here. Yeah, she over here singing." You will regret this. You will regret this. You will regret this. I would put her on speakerphone with 911 so goddamn fast that they would hurry up and get up over here and see what's going on. David could have called somebody and had her committed at this point. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he got a number because you remember she been committed before. You remember David? They run a mental... Yeah. Well, hold on. Who Mom, running it? Yeah. Who? But I think Jeffrey's supposed to be the one running it. Like I said, who running it? <laughs> Cause all of them need to commit themselves. They all of in their own facility. Oh, yeah, huh? got to pay. It's paid for, right? So yeah, I, I wanted to touch on that. I was like, <laughs> when is anybody gonna do something with this lady? And then David, he goes over there and he tells Jim, you know what? She pulled me out of my character. I had to. Pimp slap that bitch. I said. Then Jim said, wait, wait a minute. What? Wait, you did what? <laughs> I said, Jim, go ahead and laugh. Jim said, you should have let me kill her when I had the chance. Jim, this is not the time. This is not the time. He said, I'm just saying. <laughs> so you wouldn't have had to slap her if you had let me kill her. <laughs> so then this was a part that I, look, if my y'all see my eye red, I don't know what's going on. I think I had an eyelash in it earlier, so I had to come home and just wash my face and do all that. So, so if it's red, don't I ain't, I ain't did nothing. Yeah. So David goes over to the house and he actually confronts Justin Timberlake about tearing up all his skit over there. And basically, he read the boy for filth. He basically was like, um, "Can you afford to?" Um, replace a five thousand dollar couch, a fifty thousand yeah. dollar painting. This stuff over I was here. Like, God, that's don't. Stuff. And I said, hold on, what? Said all that in that apartment? Was it five thousand dollar couch or a five fifty thousand dollar couch? It was I one. Think, of, I think it was a yeah. He didn't make the, it was a lot of goddamn money for for two items that he named off. It didn't come from Ashley Furniture, that's for sure. Exactly, they got imported. So I said, so he talking about some no, but I'll work my way to get you know, your money back. And this is the part that I say, this is why I love David's character. Now, David is a ride or die. Ride or die to a fault, but uh -huh. a definitely a ride or die. But once he realized that his son was a willing participant in some of the bullshit that's coming his way, he looked at Justin and he looked at his son and he said, you know what? At the end of the day, whatever y'all got going on, Y'all need to fix that among yourself. I'm backing down. I'm but out of it. Justin, just know this still is my son. Yep. Try something if you want to. If you seen how his mama act, you ain't seen nothing yet. So But uh but but uh but good is that sound what you said right there. <laughs> but he's walking out the door, he said, Yeah, I'm gonna get this furniture replaced for you. I said but why you couldn't get your furniture in your own house? It took y'all yeah. a month to get furniture in your house, but you gonna send somebody over there to replenish so, the so, furniture over here in the condo. Yeah. Within what, 24 hours. Where they hours. do that at? Within 24 hours. Where 
within 24 hours. This now, a see, furniture prime? Nah, see what the problem is, the reason why he ain't in front of his flesh, he been too busy bucking Erica, man. On the wooden he, floors? He ain't got no more strength to get that furniture, man. <sighs> he replenished now for sure. And then the last <laughs> thing I want to touch on from last week is, <laughs> <laughs> Benny and Hannah got a joint account. How yeah, old is this dude? Whenever it's, we think that Benny cannot be a better candidate for a slow bus, yeah, he proves that he needs to be on a slow bus. He needs to be on the seat behind the bus driver with the seat belt. I promise you, every time we try to give Benny some benefit of the doubt, he proves himself. Who walks around with $15,000 cash in their pocket? And we about to touch on that. Okay, now we enter this week's episode. Benny gets arrested. So I know last week it ended off when Candace came over there to the house trying to figure out how she can get her money because that's when we realized that it's a joint account and yep. Hannah is not going to be a willing participant in handing any of this money over or anything. she rather hand it over to the feds and let them work it out first and steal the money because you know they ain't going to turn it off. Damn. Uh -huh. And yep. then to hand it over to Candace. Because she know it probably came from a real dark place. It ain't come from the church. So if it didn't come from the church, you she don't want nothing to do with it. She don't want nothing to do with it. <laughs> so Benny gets arrested. And when he gets arrested, the police was like, Do you have anything in your pockets? Police go in his pockets. He uh 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 pull out the money. And one of his charges is robbery. But like when you know when you black and you walk around with all that cash, what you look like? <laughs> guilty <laughs> or dead <laughs> and in this case he should have been both the way that he was resisting so he been, arrest and everything mm -hmm. and he being charged for what murder and murder theft armed robbery yeah and, and you got that else. kind of money in your pocket come on now i said bennett whatever happens at this point i i, I don't even it, feel sorry he's not a good liar so when they ask him where he get the money from his lie gonna be all bucked up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All messed up. Yep. And then when they go into his history and they see about the bank accounts and all that, it's really gonna be a situation going on here. Yeah, where this eight million dollars came from. But you ain't robbed nobody though. And you ain't got the tow yard no more, player. Matter of fact, you ain't got no job. You don't have a house. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Technically he's homeless. Say so you broke busted and disgusted with no truck. So now that Benny is being shipped off to the <laughs> To, to the sale, that leaves Hannah and Candace standing on the, on the sidewalk, hmm. going in at it, going. I mean, just you know how they do, oil and vinegar. Yep, oil and water. So, Candace wants some money. Hannah ain't about to turn over the money. Candace basically told Hannah, "Listen, <laughs> I want my money. You can go back to doing whatever you want to do, scrubbing toilets, doing all that, and I can lay on my back because it is paying the bills at least." And um, Candace walked out of face basically and then called and put a hit out on her mom. Yeah, she told her. She said, either you can give it to me or I can get it taken from me. And she put a hit out on her mom. Oh. Uh, I said, oh. Hannah, you better watch out, Hannah. I still out, feel this guy, whatever is in my eye, I still I, feel it. I feel sorry. Well, I don't know if I feel sorry for her, but uh, for you better watch it back, uh, Hannah, because. Uh, I don't even care at this point. Her hits are deadly. They be bucked up. Cause in her mind right now, she ain't, she ain't, um, uh, you ain't her daughter and she ain't your mama. <laughs> well, you know that's the way she see it. So rock a bye, um, baby. Uh -huh. Cause Hannah, you may not be around no more. Strangers yeah. don't live wrong around here. So you might make it through one more episode and that's it. Okay. So last week we found out that Erica is trying to get pregnant by Deacon David. Yeah, she don't found her cash deal. cow and she's trying to solidify the next 18 years of her god doing mm -hmm. life. Well, when David comes back home from smacking Demonica and going on over there and telling Jim about it, because you know he got to run everything by Jim, Erica has rose petals in the tub. You know, she don't set the atmosphere. Got mimosas. And then I said, hold on. Why does bathtub look like it's in the middle of a bedroom floor? <laughs> I saw dressers. I saw <laughs> now. I know bathrooms can get real fancy, like, but it looked like Tyler just literally picked up a bathtub from Home Depot earlier that day <laughs> and filled it up with water bubbles and rose petals. It says go and set it over there in the and corner. Set it right, right now. there, and y'all come back and pick that up because I don't. They probably it. said, uh, "Boss, this, this this is your bedroom. That's it fine. don't matter. It, it don't matter. You know, 
That's all right. I don't give a fuck no more. So it's they don't, I don't shoot give a fuck. Scene. Just shoot the scene. So he gets home. He gets in the bathtub. And Erica can tell that he's not in the mood at the moment. That something went wrong. And he basically confessed to Erica that I went over there and I slapped I my ex-wife. And Erica was like, huh? Now she has to play this role because she's supposed to be in an just coming out of an abusive, abusive relationship. Mm -hmm. What well, kind of she did? Yeah. It's Candace. <laughs> uh-huh. So she's basically kind of, you know, talk him out of his funk, letting him know that, you know, that's not who you are. She pushed you to your limit. She was right. You know, she done burnt up your house. She done blew up your cars. She done bust the windows out the house. Yeah. I mean, she pushed you. I agree. But, um, she just basically trying to get him in the mood so that she can jump on him. And she literally jump leaped on him in the middle. I was like, I said, what, what transition that, was this? That was th what? So, but this is what's going to be funny to me is when Erica, I got a feeling that Deacon David don't have a vasectomy. Yeah, I think he got the big V. Now, I know they only have this one child and most people don't get a vasectomy after one child. But for some reason, I believe Deacon David had a vasectomy. Now, that would be a good twist to the story, man. Tyler, don't you steal my skit. That would be a good twist to the story that just in, just in idle conversation, she's talking about babies and he go, uh, oh, yeah. I can't have no more babies because uh, I got worms. I got a vasectomy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be like, so funny. Oh. Like, huh? Your plan is busted. Yeah. So, <laughs> y'all better hurry up and try to do whatever it is y'all want to do because over there at Demonica House, last week she got Deacon Derek to call up his old partners. Yeah. Get him, give Demonica the numbers that was so now she can put a hit out on David. She don't put an explosive hit out on David, so and we don't Erica. know. So we don't know how long yeah. Deacon David and Erica are gonna be um, around. David even bought Erica a car. She found out about the guy doing car. She was like, "Ooh, this is even better." Basically, blow that one up blow too. That up too. <laughs> blow it up. So I'm saying like, <laughs> let the bodies hit the floor. Let them hit the floor. It's about time. Cause I'm about so sick of this guy doing um. It's got to a season. I don't know yeah. what to do. So I think next week is the last one. I think. And it will be the last time you see me talk about it. <laughs> That's for sure. Hey. So, Jim. No. I'm going to go ahead and pause that one for a minute. Um, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> RK don't realize that a rocket don't got beat the hell up. Got whooped by Candace. Gia co-signed to say, yep. I was there. Mm -hmm. I got, saw it happen. Got be with a golf club. Now this hard on that RK has for Candace has now made him fully erect. Mm -hmm. Because the crazier she is, the, the more, more he, he likes wanna. it. Yep. So um Rocky ended up coming to the hotel, showing his face, peeking around, telling him, so, hey, can I see you for a moment? And RK was looking at him like this the whole time. Like, he was like, dang. And he was like, well, how did she know? And he was like, I didn't tell. And I'm like, Rocky, you told it yourself. You told it to Oscar. Yeah. So now you surprised that she found now out that she told it? Yeah. So he said he going to go home and get his well, I just got to say this. They let you out of the hospital looking bad, player. He had no insurance. <laughs> He was at a state hospital. He was at that state. And they said, if they you let, They home, let you go in 24 to 48 hours. And send you home bloody with a band aid. Say, take these two pills, put this bandage on your head, mm -hmm. and send you on your way. Yes, indeed. They don't play that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to move forward because this really wasn't anything to see. Jeffrey ended up at the hotel. You know, there's only one hotel in this whole freaking. Well, only one they go to. So, he ended up at the hotel going to the bar, trying to drink his problems away. Mm -hmm. Now, Gia, you know, she saw Mark. She went over there, sashayed her tail over there to try to talk to Jeffrey. Jeffrey let her know right off the bat. Uh-huh. Hello, my name is Gay. She was like, well, hey, hey Gay. Gay. He, he said, said, no, no, no. no. I am I'm gay. gay. I like men. I don't do women's, 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 women's. <laughs> so she was like, oh, okay. So that's when RK got the little sign from Gia. Now it's your turn to make a move. Because you know RK, whatever way, the jurist way, is the, the way, way he, that he play. Mm -hmm. So RK is over there, you know, topping him off. Giving him more vodka. You know, vodka on the house. Trying to talk to him about, you know, okay, I find you attractive. You know, what kind of guy you is. I mean, just the... And then he actually recognized him from... 
from jail. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey now, Jeffrey was like, I don't nah. remember you. I said, all right, y'all about ready to um, be talking about the same guy and the same mama and all that too. Yeah. So, Marte <laughs> is trying to make this move on Jeffrey. So, Jeffrey said, go to your room, call back down here so I can charge the drinks to your room. That way, I'll know which room to visit later. Mm -hmm. Jeffrey kind of gave him the smirk like, I'm not drunk yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when I take this last sip, I'll be calling you. <laughs> so, okay, so now you're going to sleep with the, the, the mama and the son? I think one of them spent a whole lot of money at this artesian hotel. I need stock in it. Yeah, they don't spend every time you turn around, everybody ends up back at the artesian. Yes, they do. <laughs> everybody got a room. They yep. leave a light on for them. So, what's the girl's name that um Jim keep? Sarah. Sarah, yeah. Jim don't call Sarah up. Basically asking her, did you get, give me all the evidence that they had? And she was like, they don't have anything on you other than your son. He said, I can take care of that. But Sarah went ahead and spilled the beans and told Jim, listen, what they might have on you is this. You've been basically sleeping with an informant for the DA office. Yep. And I said, whoa, we talking about Detective Salisbury stakes in them office? That's all thing so, I didn't think of. They really wanted them like that. Okay. So Jim was like, oh, really? So, okay. So now we got to watch out for Gia. And he goes and picks Gia up from the Artesia Hotel down in the lobby. She goes I to the room. I don't mean no harm. <laughs> <laughs> she worked for the DA. And she she don't know she two ups. Very slow. Don't know how to lie I thought straight. it was a game. Yeah. Her and Benny would make a great couple. No. They just can't reproduce. No. No. They would make a good couple. No. They would get a lot of sympathy from people. Their neighbors will look out for them. They will bring them dinner. They'll get sympathy at church. <laughs> but in these streets, people are gonna let them know the business. <laughs> Say, you stupid, you stupid. <laughs> Wear condoms, get on birth control. Yeah. And that right there, that's a recipe for disaster. disaster right there. I'm like, you you work for them? Unless she putting on. I thought she was putting on, but maybe she might be putting on. No, but. after she got in that room with Jim Cryer and Jim closed that door, and he basically slapped her around, pushed her around, and let her know, "I know exactly mm -hmm. who you are. I know what you are, what you, you know, what you were capable of. What is it that you don't told them already?" And Gia said, "I ain't told them nothing. I ain't even been wearing no wire. I'm supposed to get you to relax first. I ain't even got to that point yet." So I'm sitting here like, okay, what's going on? And then, of course, Jim was like, okay, since you ain't told them nothing yet, maybe I can use this for my benefit. I know how she got the job. How she got it? See, she was already tricking. And they caught her on the corner, and they was getting ready to put her in jail. It's a plea deal? And they gave her a plea deal, said, you help us catch a uh, big criminal, we'll let you go. A big what in the like? Criminal. <laughs> I heard you. <laughs> so we're going to put you in the game. You think you can handle it? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So she's in over her head, and of course, it wouldn't be an episode if Tyler didn't forcibly have somebody being taken advantage of. So yeah. Jim is pushing her around, and basically, he pushed her on the bed, and you know he raped her. Yeah, because Jennifer Salisbury wouldn't let him do that. Mm-mm. Salisbury State. Yeah, Sal yeah, whatever. You, whatever. <laughs> he, she wouldn't let him. Because I was like, she gonna at this point, she's going to be like, yeah, we on to you, and da-da-da-da, and, and you keep on doing this, and got herself out of the situation. Mm -mm. So then we see Candace. <clears throat> Not gonna go too much in the conversation because I really don't care. But Candace ended up calling RK. And basically, she was filling him in on what she's been doing. No, RK called Candace. Yeah. RK called Candace. Mm -hmm. And told Candace, say, um, <laughs> saw Rocky. <laughs> mm, like, okay. Dang. <laughs> she was like, yep, he should have stayed out of my business. And she went ahead to let him know, you know, I got some more things in the works. My mama gonna be one of them. Um, I need to come back to the hotel. I, but I'm gonna walk straight through the lobby, and at the same time, he's on the phone, and she walks straight through the lobby, go and goes and stands at the elevator, and I said, "Uh oh, it's about to get real." I seen Oscar walk up. I said, "Uh huh, got him." Soon as that elevator door opened, and she had her head down, or he was right there, and he just he dived. He dived on. Her. Bow, hit her right. <laughs> Y'all remember when Bernie Mac was in that movie, um, How to Be a Player? Yeah. And when that joke, he was coming out the cleaners. Yeah. And but he, he saw, saw the jokers on the sidewalk. And he, he just saw them. <laughs> and threw them clothes. <laughs> That's how he just dived on her. And he beat the mess out of yeah. Candace. I felt bad, though. I didn't. 
But not really. I did it because she run around kicking A, so it's time for her to get her A kicked too. Yeah, it's kind of like the whole um, Demonica and David thing. Yeah. I, 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 it, I'm glad it happened, but then I kind of was like, the woman side of me was like, that's fucked up. Yeah. But then I'm like, but I understand what you're saying. Though. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, I mean, he gave her the business and they got no elevator. And he pulled her out of that elevator in pure Ray, uh, what's his name, Ray Rice style. Uh -huh. When he beat his girlfriend or wife, whatever she is, up in that elevator. And basically walked her down the hall. People passing by. He talking about too much to drink. Mm -hmm. Nobody decided But they did call, look no. at him strange though. He was like, they was like, but yeah. Yeah, and he takes her into the room. So once she gets behind closed doors, of course she kind of gets herself together. And he proceeds to rough her up some more. Smack around again. And he's asking all the questions. Da, 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 da. And he made a fatal mistake. And he turned his back on her. I was like, and I said, well, I don't know what she about to grab or what she about to do, but don't you turn your back on an angry black woman. Hmm. You, you may not have learned those rules, um, Mr. Oscar, but um, it's too late for you to learn them now because all we saw was a whoo, and he went under what is that? <laughs> he balling. And he went flying out the hotel window. So now, if Oscar I, didn't die. Now, I can appreciate the effects and everything. But it's bullshit. But it's bullshit. You can't Oscar. push nobody out no window like that. <laughs> Oscar. I mean, Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> you have Tyler Perry Studios. This is this, this what we get. This is what we get. Yeah. But I, I, I know. I can appreciate it. It ain't real, but I can appreciate it. I though. can't. Yeah. Huh? When you know better, you do better. Yeah. And he know better. Because he don't, like you said, he don't give a fuck about this show no more. But this is his reputation. Sue. <laughs> um, well, well, who am I, though? He ain't buy me no Tesla like he just bought him the hat. Is it, is it future? Say, so you can do what you want when you pop it? That future? Yeah. I think. You is do what you want when you pop Yeah, you can do what you want when you pop it. Yeah. Yeah. That's well, what I'm not popping. So Tyler, until then, I'm going to keep talking skit straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty South. <laughs> to, uh, to down. Holla.